Welcome to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. We are glad that you have joined us as Daniel White III encourages us to pray without ceasing throughout the day, every day, for the glory of God. Good morning and welcome to another Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast. I believe that this is number 80. We give God the glory, praise, and honor for this privilege to be with thousands of folks around the world, encouraging them to continue to pray. Today, I would like to begin by sharing with you a poem titled, Turn Your Worries Into Prayers by Patricia Bankhead. Don't worry about your problems. Turn your worries into prayers. Cast your burdens on the Father because He loves you and He cares. Don't worry about what you will eat or how you will pay your bills. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Just trust Him and be still. There is no problem too big, no problem that is too small. Just fall down on your knees on the Father. Make the call. Place your worries in His hands and experience His amazing love. Turn your worries into prayers and receive His blessings from above. The simple purpose of this broadcast is to exhort you, to encourage you, to inspire you, and to motivate you to just pray so that God can begin to do all sorts of wonderful things for you, your family, and whatever God has called you to do, spiritually and otherwise. Our prayer motivator verse for today is found in 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 33. When thy people Israel be smitten down before the enemy, because they have sinned against thee, and shall turn again to thee, and confess thy name, and pray, and make supplication unto thee in this house. Then hear thou in heaven, and forgive the sin of thy people Israel, and bring them again unto the land which thou gavest unto their fathers. Our thought for today is that prayer will guide us into perfect communion with God. Our prayer motivator quote for today is from Oswald Chambers. He said, Is the Son of God praying in me, or am I dictating to Him? Prayer is not simply getting things from God. That is a most initial form of prayer. Prayer is getting into perfect communion with God Himself. If the Son of God is formed in us by regeneration, He will press forward in front of our common sense and change our attitude to the things about which we pray. Our prayer motivator devotional for today is titled, Let the Holy Spirit Lead You When You Pray from Dr. J. Gordon Henry, the Prince of Prayer in Modern Times. Let the Holy Spirit lead you when you pray. Ladies and gentlemen, he says, be sensitive, be sensitive to what the Holy Spirit leads you to pray. Often he will bring to your mind a specific scripture or something specific to do that will serve as the request you make during your time of intercession. Pray fervently to be led by the Holy Spirit to uh, the exact needs of the one in Christ for whom you pray. There will be times when you will sense a need to pray for some person or something. Obey then be alert to the results of your prayer. Be alert to the answers that God will give you. Now, 
as you know, we don't just talk about prayer. We go into prayer. We actually pray. Remember that the announcer will provide the information for you to send in your prayer requests at the end of this broadcast, and we will pray for you until you get an answer, until you send us a praise report, or until you tell us to take your name off the list. And uh, until then, we will pray for you by name every day. And we'll, and we'll be happy to do so. Now, friend, please join me in prayer. Holy Father God, we are weak, but thou art strong. We pray for spiritual, mental, and physical grace and strength to do your will. Lord, we praise you and we thank you for the privilege of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy, your love, and your grace upon us. Lord, we confess our sins unto you our disobedience, our rebelliousness, our pride, our stubbornness, our turning away from you. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive us, Lord, of our sins. Forgive the, this nation of our sins as well. And Holy Father God, we pray for the President of the United States and all governmental leaders that you would turn their hearts in the way that you would have them to go. We also pray for all uh, church leaders, pastors, evangelists, missionaries, wherever they are in the world, that you will lead God and direct them in the way that you want them to go as well. Uh, now, Holy Father God, we pray for some dear people who have sent in prayer requests through our ministry, Gospel Light Society International or some other related ministry. We pray for Pat today. Please be with her and her family. As they go through difficult times, we pray for Jamie today. Bless them and all of uh, and all, all all other families who are struggling financially. Uh, we pray for the Jamie family uh, who is struggling financially. Uh, give her family the strength to to stay strong in you. Uh, lead and guide her children and have them to find a church home. And we also pray for Berenice. Be with her sister. Criselda, heal her mother and save her son's soul and heal her friend, Gloria, and bless her to be married. Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for the following people who have accepted you into their hearts, who have gotten saved recently. And we thank you, Lord, for saving these people. Uh, by using our ministry and using us, we count it a privilege and a joy. We pray now that you would strengthen these dear saints, new saints in Christ, spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Help us, Lord, to be the, the disciples that you want us to be. And we pray that you'll fill all of us with the power of your Holy Spirit to do your will. We also pray... Uh, in this regard for Victoria in New York, Anita in Mexico, Michael in Yuma, Arizona. Lord, we also pray for the following people who uh, were already saved, but they made recommitments to you. We pray that you would uh, strengthen them in the faith. We pray specifically for P Pedro in Honduras, Mariela in Colombia, and Zadzi in Zimbabwe. Uh, Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for these dear people and for thousands of others who listen to us every day and for souls to be saved and lives to be changed. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you have uh, not accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior today, uh, to this point rather, please notice with me uh, the Word of God, Romans 10.9 and Romans 10.13, uh, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, uh, friend of mine, if you are willing 
to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior today, you can pray with me a very simple prayer right now. And uh, as long as you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried and rose again, pray with me this simple prayer. Heavenly Father, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have sinned against you. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life forever. Amen. Dear friend, if you have just accepted Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior, please contact us today so that we can send you a free copy of our pamphlet titled, What to Do After You Enter Through the Door. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. This will help you to get started in your Christian life. Until next time, remember, dear friend, pray, think, do. God bless you.